Ally, Lord, may they have you, peace as their armor, the trophy invincible, both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. O awesome and unshameable protection, O good and praiseworthy Theotokos, do not despise our petitions, make firm the community of the Orthodox. Save those whom you have called to rule, grant them victory from heaven, for you gave birth to God and are truly blessed. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray to you, hear us, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. And we pray for all pious and orthodox Christians. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. And we pray for Archbishop and Father Sava. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For you are a merciful God who loves mankind, and to you we give glory. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. Glory to the holy, consubstantial, life-giving, and undivided Trinity, always, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, on earth peace, goodwill among men. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill among men. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill among men. O Lord, you shall open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. O Lord, you shall open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. O Lord, why do those who afflict me multiply? Many are those who rise up against me. Many are those who say to my soul, there is no salvation for him and his God. But you, O Lord, are my protector, my glory, and the one who lifts up my head. I cried to the Lord with my voice, and he heard me from his holy hill. I lay down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord will help me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people who set themselves against me all around. Arise, O Lord, and save me. O my God, for you struck all those who were foolishly at enemy with me. You broke the teeth of sinners. Salvation is of the Lord, and your blessing is upon your people. I lay down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord will help me. O Lord, do not rebuke me in your wrath, nor chase me in your anger, for your arrows are fixed in me, and your hand rests on me. There is no healing in my flesh because of your wrath. There is no peace in my bones because of my sins. For my transgressions rise up over my head. Like a heavy burden, they are heavy on me. My wounds grow foul and faster because of my folly. I suffer misery and I'm utterly bowed down. I go all the day long with a sad face, for my loins are filled with mockeries, and there is no healing in my flesh. I'm afflicted and greatly humbled. I roar because of the groaning of my heart. O Lord, all my desire is before you, and my groaning is not hidden from you. My heart is troubled, my strength fails me, in the light of my eyes, even this is not with me. My friends and neighbors draw near and stand against me, and my near of kin stand far off. And those who seek my soul use violence, and those who seek evil for me speak folly, and they meditate on deceit all the day long. But I, like a deaf man, do not hear, and I am like a mute who does not open his mouth. And I am like a man who does not hear and who has no reproofs in his mouth. For in you, O Lord, I hope, you will hear, O Lord my God. For I said, let not my enemies rejoice over me. For when my foot was shaken, they boasted against me. For I am ready for wounds, and my pain is continually with me. For I will declare my transgressions, and I will be anxious about my sin. But my enemies live, and are becoming stronger than I. And those who hate me unjustly are multiplied. Those who repaid me evil for good slandered me, because I pursue righteousness. And they threw away my love as though it were a stinking corpse. Do not forsake me, O Lord, O God. Do not depart from me. Give heed to help me, O Lord, of my salvation. Do not forsake me, O Lord, O my God. Do not depart from me. Give heed to help me, O Lord, of my salvation. O God, my God, I rise early to be with you, and my soul thirsts for you. How often my flesh thirsts for you in a desolate, impassable, and waterless land. So in the holy place I appear before you, to see your power and your glory. Because your mercy is better than life, my lips shall praise you. Thus I will bless you in my life. I will lift up my hands in your name. May my soul be filled as if it were with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall sing praise to you with lips filled with rejoicing. If I remembered you on my bed, I meditated on you at daybreak. For you are my helper, and in the shelter of your wings I will greatly rejoice. My soul follows close behind you. Your right hand takes hold of me. But they seek for my soul in vain. They shall go into the lowest parts of the earth. They shall be given over to the edge of the sword. They shall be a portion for foxes. But the king shall be glad in God. All who swear by him shall be praised. For the mouth that speaks unrighteous things is stopped. I meditated on you at daybreak, for you are my helper, and in the shelter of your wings I will greatly rejoice. My soul follows close behind you, your right hand takes hold of me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. 
O Lord God of my salvation, I cry day and night before you. Let my prayer come before you, and incline your ear to my supplication, O Lord. For my soul is filled with sorrows, and my soul draws near to Hades. I am counted among those who go down into the pit. I am like a helpless man, free among the dead, like slain men thrown down and sleeping in a grave whom we remember no more. But they are removed from your hand. They laid me in the lowest pit, in dark places and in the shadow of death. Your wrath rested upon me, and you brought all your billows over me. You removed my acquaintances far from me. They made me an abomination among themselves, and I was betrayed and did not go forth. My eyes weakened from poverty. O Lord, I cried to you the whole day long. I spread out my hands to you. Will you work wonders for the dead, or will physicians raise them up and acknowledge you? Shall anyone in the grave describe your mercy and your truth and destruction? Shall your wonders be known in darkness and your righteousness in a forgotten land? But I cry to you, O Lord, and in the morning my prayer shall come near to you. Why, O Lord, do you reject my soul and turn away your face from me? I am poor and in troubles from my youth, but having been exalted, I was humbled and brought into despair. Your fierce anger passed over me, and your terrors greatly troubled me. They compassed me like water all the day long. They surrounded me at once. You removed far from me my neighbor and my friend and my acquaintances because of my misery. O Lord God of my salvation, I cry day and night before you. Let my prayer come before you and incline your ear to my supplication, O Lord. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and everything within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his rewards, who is merciful to you all your transgressions, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from corruption, who crowns you with mercy and compassion, who satisfies your desire with good things, and your mouth in your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord shows mercies and judgment to all who are wronged. He made known his ways to Moses, the things he will to the sons of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in mercy. He will not become angry to the end, nor will he be wrathful forever. He did not deal with us according to our sins, nor reward us according to our transgressions. For according to the height of heaven from earth, so the Lord reigns in mercy over those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so he removes our transgressions from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him, for he knows how he formed us. He remembers that we are dust. As for man, his days are like grass, as a flower of the field, so he flourishes. For the wind passes through it, and it shall not remain, and it shall no longer know its place. But the mercy of the Lord is from age to age upon those who fear him, and his righteousness upon children's children, to such as keep his covenant and remember his commandments to do them. The Lord prepared his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, mighty in strength, who do his word, so as to hear the voice of his words. Bless the Lord, all you his hosts, his ministers who do his will. Bless the Lord, all his works, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. In all places of his dominion, bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, hear my prayer, and give ear to my supplication in your truth. Answer me in your righteousness. Do not enter into judgment with your servant, for no one living shall become righteous in your sight. For the enemy persecuted my soul. He humbled my life to the ground. He caused me to dwell in dark places as one long dead, and my spirit was in anguish within me. My heart was troubled within me. I remembered the days of old, and I meditated on all of your works. I meditated on the works of your hands. I spread out my hands to you, and my soul thirsts for you like a waterless land. Hear me speedily, O Lord, for my spirit faints within me. Turn not your face from me, lest I become like those who go down into the pit. Cause me to hear your mercy in the morning, for I hope in you. Make me know, O Lord, the way wherein I should walk, for I lift up my soul to you. Deliver me from my enemies, O Lord, for to you I flee for refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Your good spirit shall guide me in the land of uprightness. For your name's sake, O Lord, give me life. In your righteousness you shall bring my soul out of affliction. In your mercy you shall destroy my enemies. You shall utterly destroy all who afflict my soul, for I am your servant. Answer me in your righteousness, O Lord, do not enter into judgment with your servant. Answer me in your righteousness, O Lord, do not enter into judgment with your servant. Your good spirit shall guide me in the land of uprightness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to your God. <clears throat> alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to your God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God, our hope, O Lord, glory to you. In peace.
peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, your mercy. The peace from above, the salvation of our souls. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace in the whole world, for the stability of holy churches of God, and for the unity of all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house, and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our pious and orthodox Christians, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our Archbishop and Father Savas, the Honorable Presbyterate, for the Diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our country, for the President, for all those in public service, and for the christ loving armed forces everywhere, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city, for every city and land, for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, and from the peril of the coronavirus against us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our brethren, those who lead the fight against the coronavirus, the doctors, the medical workers, and the scientists, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our all-holy, pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord. To you belong, O glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. God is the Lord, and he revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Suvologiste to Kyrio, ke epikaliste to onoma to Aion aftu. Θεός Κύριος και επέφανεν ημίν, ευλογημένος ο ερχόμενος εν ονόματι Κυρίου. All the nations surrounded me, but in the name of the Lord I defended myself against them. God is the Lord, and he revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And this came about for the Lord is wonderful in our eyes. God is the Lord, and he revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Εξύψου κατήλθες ο ευσπλάχνος, τα φιν κατεδέξω τριήμερον. Η να είμας ελευθερώσεις των παθών, η ζωή και η Ανάσταση Σιμών Κυρίε δόξασή. Through glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, you descended from on high, O compassionate one, and condescended to be buried for three days, so that from the passions you might set us free. Our life and resurrection, O Lord, glory be to you. Amen. Heaven to the ages of ages, Amen. O people, anticipate and leap for joy now with faith, and longingly congregate today, applauding with joy, and all of you cheerfully shall now in exaltation for the Theotokos is preparing for her departure from the earth to the heavens. With glory, and we sing hymns to her, and glorify her as the mother of God. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our all holy, pure, most, most blessed, holy, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For yours is the dominion, yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. When you, the life of all from the dead, resurrected, 
the shining angel cried to the lamenting women, Cease from your tears, announce unto the apostles the tidings full of joy. Cry out in exultation that the Christ the Lord has arisen from the dead. For he so will to save the human race as God in his good pleasure. <laughs> Anastas ek του τάφου ο αληθός, τες ουσίες προσέταξας γυναίξη, κηρύξε την έγερσιν, αποστόλης ως γέγραπτε, και δρομέως ο Πέτρος επέστη το μνήματι, και το φως εν το τάφο ορών κατεπλήτε το, όθεν και καθίδε τα οθόνη αμόνα, χωρίς του Θείου σώματος εν αυτόν κατακείμενα και πιστεύσας εβόησε. Δόξα Συ Χριστέ ο Θεός, ότι σώζησα πάντα σωτήρον ημών, του Πατρός γαρ υπάρχης απαύγασμα. Into the heavens' heights, when from those heights you cherish on descended in godly man, that pious man you dared to approach your most sacred part, to upset it monstrously, was my justice divine struck down. And therefore, with the angel, we cry to you, rejoice, O lady, full of grace. being sealed your tomb, O Savior, an angel rolled the stone away from the door. The woman saw you were resurrected from the dead, and they announced the good tidings to the disciples in Zion, that you, the life of all, resurrected, and the bonds of death have been loosed. Glory to you, O God. <coughs> Τα μοίρα τη ταφή σε γυναίκε κομίσε. Φωνή αγγελική εκ του τάφου εικόν. Παύσταται των δακρύων και αντιλήπη χαράν κομίσαστε. Κράξατε ανυμνούσε. Ότι ανέστη Χριστό ο κύριο. Ο ευδοκή σα ω Θεό, Θεό το γένο των ανθρώπων. To the ages of ages, amen. You were given, you have given up your soul into the hands of your God and Creator, who for us became incarnate from you, and He transported it from earth to immortal life. Thus, with due respect, we pronounce you blessed, for you alone are pure and immaculate. As we all confess that you are true, the Theotokos, we cry aloud to Christ, whom you have been transported. Pray that he will save our souls. Ευλογητό η κυρία, διδαξών με τα δικαιώματα σου. Τον αγγέλων ο Δήμο κατεπλάγει ο Ρόνσε. Εν ικραής λόγης θέντα, του θανάτου δε σωτήρ την ισχύν καθελώντα και συνε αυτό τον αδάμε γύραντα και εξάδου πάντας ελευθερώσαντα. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Why do you mingle the ointments with your tears full of pity, O woman disciples? Lest the angel who was shining in the tomb cry to the mere bearing woman, Save for yourselves the empty tomb and understand that the Savior has risen from the sepulchre. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Very early in the morning the myrrh-bearing women were hastening to your tomb lamenting. 
But the angel appeared to them and uttered, The time for lamentation is ended. Weep no more, go announce the resurrection to the apostles. <laughs> Μυροφόροι γυναίκε με τα μύρων ελθούσε προ το μνήμα σου σώτε. Ενυχούν το αγγέλο τρανό προ αυτά στεγκωμένου. Τι με τα νεκρόν το ζώντα λογίζεστε. Ω Θεό γαρέξανε στη του μνήματο. To the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, in the Holy Trinity, one in essence, and we cry aloud with the seraphim, Holy, 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 are you, O Lord? Both now and forever, into the ages of ages, a man giving birth to the giver of life, O Virgin, you delivered Adam from sin, and to Eve you have rendered joy in place of sorrow. He who from you became incarnate, God and man has directed to life him who fell from it. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 doxa si o Theos. Alleluia, 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 doxa si o Έτσι και έτσι εν ελληνή του κυρίου δε ηθόμε. Δηλαβού σώσον ελέισον και διεφύλαξον ημά ο Θεό τη η χαρητή. Τη Παναγία Σακράντου υπερευλογημένη εν δόξα δε σπίνη Σιμών Θεοτόπου και οι Παρθένου Μαρίε με τα πάνω του μνημονεύσανε. Εαυτού και αλλήλου και πάσαν τη ζωή ημών Χριστό το Θεό παραθόμεθα. Ότι ευρωείτε σου το όνομα και το δόξα στέ σου η βασιλεία του πατρό και του ιού και του αγίου πνεύμα. Amen. The myrrh-bearing women came to the grave of the giver of life, seeking the immortal master among the dead, and receiving good tidings of joy from the angel, they reported to the apostles that Christ God has risen, granting the world great mercy. By trusting in you, O Lord, monumentally do I defeat him. He is a son of the Lord, and he is a son of the Lord. He is the Son of the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. And I'm into the ages of ages. Amen. In the Holy Spirit is the life of all things. He is light from light and great God. Him do we extol with the Father in law God. With the fear of, the, of you, Lord, let my heart be covered and be humble minded. Blessed be exalted and fall from you, O compassion and master. Κύριον ο δεσχειδός ελπίδα ουδέσι τότε ότι πήρει τα πάντα κρινή και κολάσι. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Now and into the ages of ages, Amen. In the Holy Spirit, every divine man sees and speaks as a prophet. He does sublime miracles, praising the One God in three persons. For through it is three lights, yet the God He rules as monarch. I cry to you, O Lord, attending on your ear to me, who am shout, and purify me prior to taking me from this life. Epi ti mitera aftu gin dinon pasaftes analisi, tu lavin pasanu si gera ton vevio men. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and to the ages of ages, Amen. From the Holy Spirit was bestowed theology, thrice holy monad, Father unoriginate, from whom when timelessly the Son did issue. And thy Spirit, sharing both form and throne, shone once from the Father. Lord, what is so good or so delightful as for brothers to reside together? For in this has the Lord promised life everlasting. Του ενδύματος αυτού τα κρίνα του αγρού κόσμων και λεύσιμη δίν φροντίζει. 
Lord, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. To the ages of ages, amen. In the Holy Spirit, the unifying cause, we all things sustained in peaceful coexistence. This is so for he has God with the Father and the Son, being truly one in essence. The Lord will bring forever your God, Isaiah, and to all generations. Βασιλεύσει κυρίω ει τον αιώνα, ο Θεό σου σιών, ει γενεάν και γενεάν. Praise the Lord, O oh my soul, the Lord shall reign forever, your God, O Zion, to all generations. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Glory and mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Glory and mercy. Remembering our all holy, pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady, filled over us, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. To you, o Lord. For you are the King of peace and the Savior of our souls, and to you we give glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. When you had risen from the grave, you also raised those who had died and resurrected Adam. And now Eve is celebrating in your resurrection. And the ends of the world keep festival for your rising from the dead, O most merciful. O most merciful. Having plundered the realms of Hades and raised the dead, O long suffering, you met the myrrh bearing women and gave them joy instead of sorrow. And your apostles you informed of the symbols of victory, my life giving Savior. And you illumined creation. O lover of man, therefore the world also rejoices for your rising from the dead, O most merciful. O most merciful. On the August the 14th, we commemorate the prophet Micah. On this day, we also commemorate the holy martyr Marcellos, bishop of Apamea. On this day, we also commemorate the transfer of the holy cross to the palace. On this day, we also commemorate the holy martyr Ursius. On this day, the holy martyr Lucius, the soldier died by fire. The holy neomartyr Simeon of Trebzond, who witnessed in Constantinople in the year 1653, died by hanging. By the intercessions of your saints, O God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Legatos, I open my mouth and pray the Spirit fill it like David said, to pour out a good word to the Queen and Mother of God. I will celebrate her face with joy and gladness and sing to her merrily longing her dormition. <laughs> Θειάσον συγκροτήσαντας πνευματικών στερεώσον και εν τη Θεία μνήμη σου Στεφάνον άξις αξιώσον Την ανεξυγνίας των Θείαν πουλήν την εκ της Παρθένου σαρκώσεως σου του υψίστου ο προφήτης Σαββακούμ κατά νόον εκραύγαζε Doxa ti dinamis u kiria. Amazed was the universe by your august mission. You who were perpetually virgin carried the heavenly God of all in your womb, and gave birth to the eternal Son, who awards salvation to all who sing praises of hymns to you. Godly minded believers come and celebrate the sacred and venerable feast in us extol. Let the Theotokos and clap our hands and glorify our God who was truly born of her. O Kelatrefs and Tictis, Theophrones, Paraton Ctisanda, Alapiros, Apilin. Andrios Batis and Esheron de Sepsalon, Hyperimnite, O Tom Pateron Kyrios, Ketheos Evlogitosi. We praise and we bless and we worship the Lord. Guiltless were those servants in the furnace. The son of Theotokos went and rescued them. He who was prefigured then, having been incarnate now, is gathering the whole wide world into his church to sing. O all you works of the Lord to all ages, sing praises to the Lord and exalt him beyond measure. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For you are holy, our God, and dwell in your holy sanctuary, and to you we give glory. 
to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. 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 That way we found worthy to hear the Holy Gospel. Let us entreat the Lord our God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Praise the Amorites, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be unto all. And with your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to John. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, Lord, glory to you. On that evening of that day, the first day of the week, the doors being shut where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples were glad when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, even so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you remit the sins of any, they are remitted. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. Now Thomas, one of the twelve, called the twin, was not with him when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But, we, but he said to them, Unless I see in his hands the print of the nails and place my finger in the mark of the nails and place my hand in his side, I will not believe. Eight days later, his disciples were again in the house and Thomas was with them. The doors were shut, but Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands and put out your hand and place it in my side. Do not be faithless, but believing. Thomas answered him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet believe. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of the disciples which are not written in this book, but these are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing you may have life in his name. Oh, glory to you, Lord. Glory to you. Having beheld the resurrection of Christ, let us worship the Holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one. Your cross, O Christ, we venerate, and your holy resurrection we praise and glorify. For you are our God. Apart from you, we know no other. We call upon your name. Come, all faithful, let us venerate the holy resurrection of Christ. For behold, through the cross, joy has come unto the whole world. Ever blessing the Lord, let us praise his resurrection. For having endured the cross for us, he destroyed death by death. Mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy, and according to the abundance of your compassion, but on my Επιπλέον πλήνων με από τι ανομίε μου και από τι αμαρτίε μου καθάρισαν με. For I know my lawlessness and my sin is always before me. Hence you only have a sin and an evil in your sight, that you may be justified in your words and overcome when you are judged. Η δούγα δεν ανομίε είναι λύθην και να μαρτίε εκεί σε με η μητρμό. Behold, you love truth, you showed me the unknown and sacred things of your wisdom. Jesus, me with his love, and I will be cleansed, you shall wash me, and I will be made whiter than snow. You, you shall make me hear joy and gladness, my bones that were humbled shall greatly rejoice. Bring your face away from my sins and blood on all my transgressions. <laughs> Do not cast me away from your presence and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me with your guiding spirit. Deliver me from blood guiltness, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall greatly rejoice in your righteousness. Lord, you shall open my lips and my mouth will declare your praise. A sacrifice to God is a broken spirit, a broken and humbled heart God will not despise. Good, O Lord, in your good pleasure to Zion, and let 
Τότε ευδοκίσει τη θεία δικαιοσύνη αναφοράν και ολοκαυτώματα. Then they shall offer young bulls on your altar and have mercy on me, O God. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And the intercession of the apostles, O Lord, have mercy on my offenses. Ιστούς αιώνας των αιώνων, αμήν, εσ' της Θεοτόκου πρεσβείες ελεήμων, εξάλειψον τα πλήθη των αιμών εγκλημάτων. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy and according to the abundance of your compassion, blot out my transgression. Jesus, having risen from the grave, as he foretold, has granted us eternal life and great mercy. O oh God, if your people and present heritage <clears throat> look upon your word with mercy and compassion, uplift the strength of our Lord Christian, and down upon us your abundant mercy and such our most pure lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary to the power of the precious and life-given cross to the praise of the honorable body of heavenly powers of the honorable glorious prophet and forerunner John the Baptist the holy glorious and praiseworthy apostles our fathers among the saints and great ecumenical teachers of Hyrax Basil the Great Gregory of Theologian and John the Thatson Athanasius and Cyril, the John the Merciful Patriarch of Alexandria, Nicholas of Mira, Spiridomus, Tripatos, and Nectarius of Pontopolis, the Wonder Workers, the Holy Glorious, the Great Martyr, George the Victorious, Demetrius the More Beret, Theodore of Tyre, and Theodore the Commander, Minas the Wonder Workers, and Ephterius, and Haralambos, the Holy Priest Martyrs of the Holy Glorious, the Great Martyr, Tecla Barbara, and Assassin Catherine, Kiriaki, Fotini, Mariana, Pereskivi and Iri, of the Holy, Glorious and Victorious Martyrs, of our Venerable and God, the Ascetic Fathers, of the Holy and Righteous and Sister of God, Joachim and Anna, of Micha the, the, the Prophet, whose memory we keep today and all your saints. We beseech you, the only most merciful Lord, listen to us sinners who pray to you and have mercy on us. Gospody pomiloi, Gospody pomiloi, Gospody pomiloi, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Yara borham, Yara borham, Yara borham. Dwamna milo yashta, dwamna milo yashta, dwamna milo yashta. Eleike ekterimis ki filantropia tu mono yenusi me tu evloitosi. Sinde panagio ki agatho ke zopiosi pnevmati. Nin ki ai ke istu se onas to ne onon. Amin. Honor her with her. Let us magnify the Theotokos, the mother of life. Magnifies the Lord, and my spirit has rejoiced in God, my Savior. You are honored more than the cherubim, and you have more glory when compared to the seraphim. You, with the corruption, gave birth to God the Lord. You are the Theodotos, you do be magnified. Και τι βλέψεν την ταπείνωσιν της δούλης αυτού, η δούγαρα από τον νυν, μακάριος το με πάσε γενέ, την τιμιωτέραν των χερουβείμ και δοξωτέραν ασυγκρίτως των σεραφείμ, την αδιαφθόρος θεών λόγων τεκούσαν, 
For he who is mighty has done to me great things, and holy is his name, and his mercies on those who fear him from generation to generation. You are honored more than the cherubim, and you have more glory when compared to the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the Logos. You are the Theotokos, you do we magnify. He has shown strength with his arm, he has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. You are honored more than the cherubim, and you have more glory when compared to the seraphim. You with a corruption gave birth to God the Logos. Υπότιτλοι <laughs> Την αδιαφθόρος θεολόγων τεκούσαν, την όντως θεοτόκων σε μεγαλύνομαι. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham and to his seed forever. You are honored more than the cherubim, and you have more glory when compared to the seraphim. You without corruption give birth to God the Logos, You are the Theotokos, you do we magnify. Oh, you born on earth with festival lips and a spirit leap for joy, and all you the heavenly angelic orders join in and celebrate and honor the Theotokos, assumption of the mother of God. Sing the joyful salutation, or rejoice. Θεοτόκο, με τα πάντων αγίωμενων σαντες, και αυτούς και αλληλούς και πάσαν τη ζωή νημών, Χριστό το Θεό παρατώ μετά. Της ένους η πάση δυνάμεις των ουρανών και εσύ την δόξα να πέμπουσή το Πατρί και το Υιό και το Άγιο Πνεύμα την Ιν και Άι και εις τους αιώνας των αιωνών. Αιώς Κύριος ο Θεός ημών Όλοι εις τα Λόρτ αργά Υψωτε Κύριον τον Θεόν ημών Και προσκυνείτε το υποποδίο των ποδών αυτού Ότι Άγιος αστί Συγκεκλεισμένον δε σποτά τον θύρον όσοι σύνθες τους Αποστόλους έπλησες πνεύματος Παναγίου ειρηνικός εμφυσίσας εις δεσμήν τε κελήν τας αμαρτίας ειρικας Οκτώ μέθη μέρα την συμπλευράν. Το θωμά υπέδειξα και τα σχήρα. Με θουβόμεν κυρίω και θεό With longing, celebrate the radiant memorial of your transcendent mission. We praise you, O Theotokos, as you depart in glory now to join your Son and Lord on high. 
Pray for us Christians earnestly, for faithfully we extol you as all Immaculate Mother. Praise him according to the abundance of his greatness. Lord, as a weapon against the adversary, you have given us your holy cross. Gripped with fear, he trembles, unable to endure the look upon its might, because it raises the dead and death itself it neutralized. For this reason, we adore your three-day burial and rising again. And it have done an echo sopping ghost, and it have done an psalterio ke kithara. Angel announced your resurrection. Angelos kyrie otin anastasin kyrixas, tus me filakas efovise. Τα δε γίνεα εφώνησε λέγον Τι ζητείτε τον ζώντα μετά των νεκρών Ανέστη η Θεόζον και την οικουμένη ζωή με δωρήσατο Coming from every place at the Almighty summons, the choir of disciples assembles now to bury the mother who gave her to God. And it after Nakim Valley seven his, and it after Nakim Valley Salagmu, pass up no Yenesato Tongirion, the most on Mathiton, Arthrizete, Kidevse, Mitera Theotokon, Elthondes Ekperaton, Pando the Namon Evmati. Arise, O Lord, and your us, you and the ark of your holiness. Now is the bride of God, the Queen and Holy Virgin. The glory of the chosen, the pride of pious virgins. 
translated to her son and God. Όμως ο Κύριος το Δαβίν αληθίαν και ουμιαθετής η αυτήν εκαρπού της κοιλίας σου θύσομαι επί του θρόνου ήρθριστε ο χορός ο μαθήτων παραδόξων εκ των περά των κόσμου κηδεύσε σου το σώμα των θείων και ακύρατων. Ανέανες Mercy on us, you take away 
Την δέσην ημών ο καθήμενο εν δεξιά του πατρό και λέει στον ημά. For you alone are holy, you alone are Lord Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Every day will I bless you and I will praise your name forever and unto the ages of ages. Αξίωσον Κυριέν τη ημέρα τ' αυτή Αναμαρτήτους φυλαχθήνε ημάς Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers And praised and glorified is your name to the ages, Amen Let your mercy, O Lord, be upon us Even as we have hoped in you Ευλόγητος η Κύριε, διδαξόν με τα δίκαιωματά σου. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Κύριε, καταφυγή, εγενήθηση μην, εν γενεά και γενεά, εγώ είπα, Κύριε, λέησον με, Ήασε την ψυχή μου τη μαρτώνση. Lord, to you have I fled for refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. For with you is the fountain of life, in your light we shall see light. Παρά την όντο ελαιόν σου της γινόσκουση είσαι, Άγιος ο Θεός, Άγιος Ισχυρός, Άγιος Αθάνατος, ελέησον ημάς. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Άγιος ο Θεός, Άγιος Ισχυρός, Άγιος Αθάνατος, ελέησον ημάς. Δόξα Πατρί και Υιό και Αγίο Πνευματί. Ενήν και Αΐ και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων να μην. Άγιος Αθάνατος, ελέησον ημάς. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. For by his end of treasures, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our Lord, 
worship on Father Sab as the honorable presbyter for the diaconate in Christ and all the clergy and the people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our country, for the president, all those in public service. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the city and for every city and land, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favor, what are abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for the salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrong, danger, and distress, and from the peril of the coronavirus against us, let us pray to the Lord. For our brother and those who lead the fight against the coronavirus, the doctors, the medical workers, and the science, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remember our most, most holy, holy faith, and glory to your thoughts, and, and ever worship Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and one another, and our whole life to Christ, our God. To you, o Lord. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and everything within me. Bless his holy name. Through the intercessions of the Theodore, Savior, save us. Λόγοι ψυχή μου των γύριων και μη επιλάνθου πάσα στα σαν τα αποδόσει αυτού. Τε πρεσβείε τη Θεοτόκου σώτερ σώσον ημά. The Lord prepared his throne in heaven and his kingdom rules over all. Τε πρεσβείε τη Θεοτόκου σώτερ σώσον ημά. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Τε πρεσβείε τη Θεοτόκου. Ο τόκος ο τερσός ον ημάς. Έτσι και την ειρήνη του Κρύου δει το μέρος. Κύριε Λέησον. Έτσι ο Βοσός τον Ελέησον και τη φυλάξον ημάς ο Θεός. Τη συγχάρητη. Κύριε Λέησον. Της Παναγίας ο Φράτου Παναγιμένης. Την δώσου την εσημόν. Θεοτόκο και απαρθένου Μαρία, με τα πάντων Αγίων μην ομσάντες, ε αυτούς και αλλήλους και πάσαν τη ζωή ημών, Χριστό το Θεό παραθώ μεθά. Συ Κύριε, ότι σαν το κράτος και σου έστεινε η Βασίλεια και η δυνημής και η δόξα του Πατρός και του Ιού και του Αγίου Πνεύματος, νυν και αή και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν. Praise the Lord, O my soul, I shall praise the Lord while I live. I shall sing to my God as long as I exist. Save us, O Son of God, risen from the dead. We sing to you, Alleluia. Makarios, O Theos, Yaakov, Voithos, Aftu, Kielpis, Aftu, Epikirion, Don Theon, Aftu. Σώσον ημάς η Θεού, ο Αναστάς εκ νεκρών, ψάλλοντας η Αλληλούια. The Lord shall reign forever, your God, O Zion, to all generations. Σώσον ημάς η Θεού, ο Αναστάς εκ νεκρών, ψάλλοντας η Αλληλούια. 
to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Only begotten Son, and the Holy of God, being immortal, you condescended for our salvation to take flesh from the Holy Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, and without change became man. Christ, our dear God, you were crucified and conquered death by death, being one of the Holy Trinity, glorified with the Father and with the Holy Spirit. Save us. Again, again, in peace let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us. And protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remember our most, most holy, holy pure blessed, and glorious day, Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us command ourselves and one another, and our whole life to Christ, our God. To you, O Lord. For you, O God, are good and love mankind, and to you we offer glory. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Afti mera, in epice no kyrios, agalia sometha, ke franthomenen afti. Exipsu katilthes, o esplagnos, Τα φιν κατε δεξο τριμέρον Ή να είμας ελευθερώσεις των παθών Η ζωή και η Ανάστασης ημών Κύριε δόξασή Let heaven and earth praise Him Who descended from on high O compassionate one and condescended to be buried for three days, so that from the passions you might set us free. Our life and resurrection, O oh Lord, glory be to you. worship and bow down before Christ. Save us, O Son of God, risen from the dead. We sing to you, Alleluia. Exipsus catilthes, O Eves Plagnos, Da fin cate dexo triperon, Ina imas elefteros is ton pathon, I zoi ke i anastasis imon, Kiri the doxas i. Anticipate and leap for joy now with faith, and longingly congregate today, applauding with joy, and all of you cheerfully shout now in exultation, for the Theotokos is preparing for her departure from the earth to the heavens. With glory and we sing hymns to her and glorify her as the mother of God. Evloi tosi Christe o Theos Simon, o Pansophos, 
Tu sali sanai dīksas, kad apēmsas aktī stop nevmā, to aion, ke liatvan tīni kumēni sāji nevsas, Blessed are you, O Christ our God. You prove the fishermen to be all wise when you send them the Holy Spirit, and through them you drew the universe into your net, O lover of mankind, glory to you. On this day, your glorious memory, the whole world, by the Holy Spirit's grace, has been noetically adorned. With joy and gladness we cry to you, rejoice, O Virgin! The pride and joy of all Christians. Ah, the Lord is the Lord. The Lord is the Lord. The Lord is the Lord. Patri, que tu iu, que tu aiu, pnev, mati, nin, que aiu. Cristo se o nosso, ne o nosso. Amém. Aguias, o Deus. Aguias, o
ευχαριστούμε και απόδοτε κύριε το Θεό ημών. Γνωστό εν τη Ιουδαία ο Θεό, εν το Ισραήλ μεγά το όνομα αυτού. Σοφία. Προ Κορινθίου, πρώτη επιστολή Παύλου, το ανάγνωσμα. Συνεργή, Θεού Γεώργιον, Θεού οικοδομιέστε κατά την χάριν του Θεού την δοθήσαν μη ο σοφός αρχιτέκτον θεμέλιον έθικα άλλος δε επικοδομή έκαστος δε βλέπε το πως επικοδομή θεμέλιον γαράλων ουδείς δυνατε θύνε παρά των κείμενων ο σες την Ιησούς Χριστός είδε της επικοδομή επί των θεμέλιων τούτων χρυσών, άργυρων, λίθους τιμίους, ξύλα, πόρτων, καλάμιν, εκάστου το έργον φωνερών γεννήσετε η γαριμέρα δηλώσει ότι εν πυρή αποκαλύπτεται και κάστου το έργον ο οποίον εστιν το πυρή δοκιμάσει ή την ως το έργον μενή ο επικοδόμησεν μισθον λείψετε ή την ως το έργον κατακαήσετε Ζημιωθήσετε, αυτός δε σωθήσετε, ούτως δε ως διάπυρος. Ουκ είδατε ότι να ως Θεού εστί και το Πνεύμα του Θεού οικίεν ημίν, ή τη των ναών του Θεού φθήρι, φθήρι του τον ο Θεός. Ο Pray and return to the Lord your God in Judah. God is known, his name is great in Israel. The reading is from St. Paul's letter to the Corinthians. Brethren, we are God's fellow workers. You are God's field, God's building. According to the grace of God given to me, like a skilled master builder, I laid a foundation, and another man is building upon it. Let each man take care of how he builds upon it, for no other foundation can lay another that which is laid, which she is Jesus Christ. Now if anyone builds on the foundation with gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, straw, each man's work will become manifest, for the day will disclose it because it will be revealed with fire, and the fire will test what sort of work each one has done. If the work with any man has built on the foundation survives, he will receive a reward. If the man's work is burned up, he will suffer loss, though himself will be saved, but only as through fire. Do you not know that you are God's temple and that God's spirit dwells in you? If any one destroys God's temple, God will destroy him, for God's temple is holy, and that temple you are. Ειρήνη, peace be to you, the reader.
come before his face with thanksgiving. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Εκ του κατά Ματθαίων Αγίου Ευαγγελίου των Άγνωσμα Πρόσφαμαι Δόξα Συ Κύριε Δόξα Συ Το καιρό εκείνου είναι άγκασεν ο Ιησούς Τους μαθητές αυτού ενδύνε εις των πλοίων Και προάγειν αυτόν εις των πέραν Έως ου απολύσει τους όκλους και πολλοί σας τους όκλους ανέβη στους όρους κατηδίαν προσεύξαστε οψίαστε γεννουμένης μόνος είναι εκεί το δε πλοίον ήδη μέσον της θάλασσας ειν βασανιζόμενον υπό των κλιμάτων ειν γάρ εναντίος ο ένεμος Τετάρτη δε φυλακή της νύχτος απήρθες προς αυτούς ο Ιησούς περιπατών επί της θαλάσσης και οι δόντες αυτών οι μαθητέ επί την θάλασσαν περιπατούνται εκταράκτησεν λέγος ότι φαντασμάστη και από του φόβου έκραξαν ευθέως δεν ελάλησεν αυτοίς ο Ιησούς λέγον θαρσίτε εγώ ή μη, μη φοβήστε. Αποκριθείς δε αυτό ο Πέτρος είπε, Κύριε Ισή, και λευσόν με προσ, προσέρθειν επί τα ύδατα. Ο δε είπε ερθέ, και κατά βάσα από του πλοίον ο Πέτρος περι, περιεπάτησεν επί τα είδα, είδα τα έρθειν προς τον Ιησούν. Βλέπον δε το ένεμον ισχυρόν εφοβήθη και εξάμενος κατά ποτήν, ποτήν ζεστέ έκραξα λέγον Κύριε σώσον με. Ευθέως δε ο Ιησούς εκτείνα στην χείραν επιλάβετο αυτού και λέγει αυτό ο λιγόπιστε ή της εδίστασας και εμβάντων αυτών εις των πλοίων ε, εκόπασεν ο ένεμος είδεν το πλοίο ερθώντες προς εκείνησαν αυτών λέγοντες αληθώς Θεού Υιός η και διεπεράσαντες ήρθον εις την γην γεννήσαρε ε, ε, ε. The reading of the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew Let us be attentive Glory to you, Lord, glory to you At that time, Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and go before him to the other side while he dismissed the crowd and after he had dismissed the crowd he went up into the hill by himself to pray when evening came he was there alone but the boat by this time was many furlongs distance from the land Beaten by the waves, for the winds was against them, and in the fourth watch of the night he came to them, walking on the sea. But when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified, saying, It is a ghost, and they cried out for fear. But immediately he spoke to them, saying, Take heart, it is I, have no fear. And Peter answered them, Lord, 
If it is you, bid me come to you on the water. He said, Come. So Peter got out of the boat and walked on the water and came to Jesus. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid and beginning to sing, he cried out, Lord, save me. Jesus immediately reached out his hand and caught him, saying to him, O man of little faith, why did you doubt? And when they entered the boat, the wind seized, and those in the boat worshipped him, saying, Truly you are the Son of God. And when they had crossed over, they came to land at Genesaret. Peace be to you who proclaims the good news. Irinisi to evangelis, O man, O glory to you, Lord. Glory to you. Please be seated. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. This is the day that the Lord has made. I love when the uh, epistle and the gospel go so well and so beautifully together. Uh, it, it kind of, it, it's a sermon that kind of writes itself. It's a beautiful thing whenever we find ourselves here on this Sunday and, uh, and nothing else kind of gets in the way of these scripture passages. They're supposed to go together, by the way. The, this scripture passage from uh, 1 Corinthians is supposed to actually go with the gospel of the ninth Sunday of Matthew. So, uh, and so the only time that that um, uh, kind of gets hijacked is whenever we have like some sort of major uh, saint or major feast that it falls on a Sunday and it kind of gets in the way of... Uh, so we'll hear the... the, the gospel or the epistle of the feast and, and sometimes they're disjointed uh, sometimes they're a little disjointed but today they go together beautifully and the reason why they go together beautifully is because we hear in the epistle of St. Paul the, the fact that we are indeed the temples of the Holy Spirit this is the reason by the way that whenever we come to our funeral services we actually come and kiss I know it's going to sound strange, and I'm not trying to upset anyone. A dead body. That's what we're doing. We actually reverence a person who is lifeless. And that seems to be ridiculously, you know, just morbid and, and it's horrible. But for us as Orthodox, if we've been doing this our whole life, it's like, yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's kind of what we do. And it's not just out of love that we do this. It's because we believe the words of St. Paul. That we indeed are temples of the Holy Spirit. 
that we indeed are, in fact, the recipients of God, the God, the one and the only God, the one, the creator of the universe, the vast universe, the one that spoke and made everything. He is living here. He's living here. Okay, not just in our brains whenever we think about him. He's there whether we think about him or not. Whether we remember him or not, he's there. Whether we activate him in our lives, whether we make a moment of choice to say to the Lord, ah, oh, it's glad I'm glad that you're here. He's already there. Can you imagine walking down the steps to your house in the morning? And, you know, like some neighbor is just sitting on your couch. Maybe you don't even like the neighbor, but they're there. It's a beautiful thing to have the Lord within us. It's such a beautiful thing. How often do we neglect to realize this simple fact? We are indeed the temple of God. It makes us, it should, I, I should say that, whenever I can remember it, it makes me change the way I think, it makes me change the way I act, it makes me change the, what I say, especially when I realize that the, the, the person I'm, I'm about to talk to is also a temple of God's Holy Spirit. God dwells within them. And my words are directed at them. Whether they realize that they are the temple of the Holy Spirit or not, I know it. I know it. But St. Paul continues in his epistle and, he's, and he talks about how God is this skilled master builder. Not just of the, of the biological aspects of the body, which, I mean, if you ever study biology... Please, you'll become more of a God-fearing person ever than you've ever been before. Not only is he a skilled master builder of the body, but he is a skilled master builder of our souls and is asking us to feed both accordingly and is asking us to take care how it is built Right? It has to be built on the foundation of Christ. It has to be, you know, fortified in all of these things that take place. And then it's tested. Then it's tested. But it's not tested with like nice little, okay, let's see, let's put a level on it tested. No. How does it tested? By fire. It's tested by fire. And only the buildings that have really worked to fortify themselves on the foundation of Christ, only those buildings are going to remain. The rest of it are going to be consumed. Now what does this have to do with Jesus walking on the water? Because <laughs> that's what we're seeing today. That's what we're seeing in the, in the, in the gospel today. Well, it has a little bit to do with Jesus walking on the water. It has more to do with how scared everyone else was, including the apostles, whenever the storm came. Because that's the fire. That's the fire that tested the resolve and the faith of the apostles at that moment. And in a brief moment, when Peter lost almost his senses, we would say, He looked at Christ, who was walking not on a flat, uh, glassy surface of water, but it was in the midst of a storm. He looked at Christ and said, if that's really you, tell me to come out to see you onto the water. Now, you know, if you're a family, if you have brothers, even if you're among friends that you don't even like and somebody tries to do that, you'd stop them. You'd be pulling this person right back. I mean, maybe if they're not a Ravens fan. I get it, I get it. But 
But we would stop them. You're about to kill yourself. What are you doing? I'm not just amazed at Peter's resolve to look at Christ. I'm also amazed that none of the apostles said, wait! What are you doing? How, how can you possibly think that this is an okay thing to do? But yet, not only was it Peter who looked at Jesus and said, bid me to come out, the apostles let him go. The storm was testing all of their resolve, not just Peter's. But he had the courage to look at the face of Christ and say, I can rise above the storm with him. It, it sounds similar to, to the phrase that St. Paul talks about, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, right? But we have to be understanding that if we are not built on the foundation of Christ, we will sink. If we're not looking at Christ, we will sink. If our resolve is not for what Jesus stands for, truly stands for, we will sink. Peter was not acting for Peter at that moment. He wasn't doing some sort of prideful thing. He saw his master and wanted nothing else but to be with him. Not even the boat was safe enough. But in the arms of Christ, Peter was safe. It's completely different to what the world tells us. The world says, hey, you know, do this kind of thing. You'll be safe over here. Do this kind of thing. Believe this kind of thing. Vote this way. You'll be safe. You'll, it'll be good. That's what the world tells us. And they might even say that it's the Christian thing to vote like this or to think this way or to believe this way or to, to accept this thing or whatever. They might even tell you that's the Christian thing to do. But if the focus is not on Jesus Christ first and only, we will sink. All of us. No matter what the aim, no matter what the goal, we will sink. And we know this because as soon as Peter took his eyes off of Christ, whoom, he, went right, he went right down. As soon as he remembered he was in the midst of the storm, as soon as his gaze was just diverted, he lost it. For a second, his building was being tested and it was, and it was good. And for another second, how quickly it went away. And we're not made any different than, different than Peter or the apostles. We're made the same exact way. It is there for us. But our aim has to be pure. It has to immediately hit the bullseye because if it doesn't hit the bullseye, what is it called? Amartia. In Greek. Is what they said in archery when you didn't hit the bullseye. Amartia in English means what? Sin, folks. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I love it. Amartia is not some horrible thing. It's literally just missing the bullseye. It's the recognition that we are not the perfection of Jesus Christ. Not yet. Not yet. It'll take us a lifetime, some, some of us, to hit that bullseye directly. Or maybe, maybe like Peter, we'll be blessed enough to see it hit that bullseye, even for a split second, to know what's possible. To know that it's out there for us. To live in that divine grace beautifully and lovingly. To see what it's like for the storm and the fire to truly hit our house and to stay standing. We pray for those moments, folks. We don't pray to be like all nice and peaceful and, you know, or I should say all nice and calm. We pray to walk the storm. That's our prayer. 
And we pray that when we walk the storm, our gaze is fixed on the one person that can lift us up. Because that's where we will be tested by fire. And only that way will we remain standing. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please rise. <clears throat> Again, again, in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. That ever guarded by your might, we may ascribe glory to you, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen.
Unto the ages of ages. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. That all day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask of the Lord. O Lord, an angel of peace, a faithful God, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord, for pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord, for that which is good and beneficial for our souls. And for peace for the world, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord, that we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord, and let us ask for a Christian at our life peaceful without shame and suffering, and for a good defense before the awesome the judgment seat of Christ. Grant this, O Lord, Remember our most Lord, holy, pure, Lord, blessed, Lord, and glorious lady, O Lord, Lord, and our Virgin Mary, with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, o Lord. Through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life creating Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be 
with you all. And with your spirit. Let us love one another that with one mind we may confess. Sophia Prosome, that those the doors in wisdom let us be attentive. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created of one essence with the Father, through whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from the heavens and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us on the Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And he rose on the third day according to the scriptures. He ascended into the heavens and is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshiped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets, in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. So in Kalos, so many metaphors, prosperous The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord. Proper and right to him, you to bless you, to praise you, to give thanks to you, to worship you in every place of your dominion. For you, O God, are ineffable, inconceivable, invisible, incomprehensible, existing forever, forever the same. You and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit, you brought us out of nothing into being, and when we had fallen away, you raised us up again. You left nothing undone until you had led us up to heaven and granted us your kingdom which is to come. For all these things, we thank you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit for all things we know and do not know, for blessings manifest and hidden that have been bestowed on us. We thank you also for this liturgy which you have deigned to receive from our hands, even though thousands of archangels and myriads of angels stand around you, the cherubim and seraphim, six-winged, many-eyed, soaring aloft upon their wings. Singing the triumphal hymn, exclaiming, proclaiming, and saying...
Λάβετε φάιετε τούτου μου έστι το σώμα, το υπερημόν κλώμενον εις άφεσιν αμαρτιών. Take it, this is my body which is broken for you, for the remission of sins. Amen. Drink of this all of you, this is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many, for the remission of sins. Πιετε εξ αυτού πάντες, τούτου έστι το αίμα μου το της γενής διαθήκης. Το υπερημόν και πελώνει κοινόμενον η σάφεση να μαρτιών. Αμήν. Προστιμούν την resurrection, the third day, the ascension of the heavens, the enthronement of the right hand, and the second glory is coming again for us in us. Come to grace in us. Give us a last one. Τάσα εκ των σόνσι προσφέρομεν κατά πάντα και δια πάντα. Your own of your own we offer to you in all and for all. Once again we offer to you this spiritual worship without the shedding of blood and we beseech, pray and entreat you. Send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon the gifts here presented and make this bread the precious body of your Christ. Amen. And that which is in this cup, the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Changing them by your Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Σερέτος της Παναγίας Ακράνου, φεραυλοημένης εν δόξου δεσμήνης ημών Θεοτόκου και αη Παρθένου Μαριά.
Among the first, remember Lord Archbishop and Father Savas. Grant him to your holy churches in peace, safety, honor, and health, and the length of days, rightly teaching the word of your truth. And remember those whom it's one of us, as in mine and all your people. And all the people. And grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise your all honorable and majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. And may the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. Having commemorated all the sins, Again, again, in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. For the precious gift he presented and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. That our God, who loves mankind, having accepted them at his holy and mystical altar as an offering of spiritual fragrance, May return set down upon us the divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord of mercy. Heaven asks for the unity of the faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit. Let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ. Our God. Oh, you, O oh Lord. Que animas despote meta parisia sacada critos to manipicalistes et ureperani on theon patera que legin. Pater imon, vendis uranis, agiastito to onoma su, el feto e vasilia su, genithito to thelima su, osen urano que epitis gis, τον άρτον ημών των επιούσιων, δώσε μην σήμερον, και άφεσε μην τα οφειλήματα ημών, ως και ημείς αφήμεν τις οφλέτες ημών, και μη εις εν έγκυς ημάς εις πειρασμών, αλλά ρίσε ημάς από του πονηρού. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For that is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. down from heaven, O Master, upon those who have bowed their heads before you. For they have not bowed before flesh and blood, but before you, the awesome God. Therefore, O Master, make smooth and beneficial for us all whatever lies ahead, according to the need of each. Sail with those who sail, travel with those who travel, heal the sick, physician of our souls and bodies. Through the grace, compassion, and love for mankind of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life-creating Spirit, now and forever, into the ages of ages. The holy gifts for the holy people of God.
I believe and confess, Lord, that you are truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. I also believe that this is truly your pure body and that this is truly your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy upon me and forgive my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed, in knowledge or in ignorance, and make me worthy without condemnation to partake of your pure mysteries for the remission of sins and for eternal life. Amen. Behold, I approach for divine communion. O Maker, burn me not as I partake, for you are a fire consuming the unworthy, but cleanse me from every stain. O Son of God, receive me today as a partaker of your mystical supper, for I will not speak of the mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as to Judas, but like the thief I confess to you, remember me, Lord, in your kingdom. Tremble, O man, as you behold the divine blood. It is a burning coal that sears the unworthy. The body of God will deifies and nourishes me. It deifies the spirit and wondrously nourishes the mind. You have smitten me with yearning, O Christ, and by your divine arrows you have changed me. But burn up with spiritual fire my sins and grant me to be filled with delight in you, so that evening for joy I may magnify with the good one your two comings. How shall I, whom unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints? If I should dare to enter into the bridal chamber, my vesture will condemn me, since it is not a wedding garment, and being bound up I shall be cast out by the angels. Bless, O Lord, the filth of my soul, and save me, as you are the one who loves mankind. Master, who loves mankind, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be to my judgment, because I am unworthy but rather for the purification and sanctification of both soul and body, and the pledge of the life and kingdom to come. It is good for me to cleave unto God, and to place in Him the hope of my salvation. O Son of God, receive me today as a partaker of your mystical supper. For I will not speak in a mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as to Judas, but like the thief I confess you, remember me, Lord, in your kingdom.
Good morning, everyone. We have another beautiful and joyous day where we get to bring a mother and her child into the church. Uh, it, is a, it is a wonderful and joyous thing that we get to do this. Um, and uh, I'll, I'll, always, by extension, when we have a mother and child, it is a joy to also have the dad, but the prayers are not for the dad today. So, <laughs> so Justin, Catherine, God bless you. Oh, my goodness. She's a peanut. God bless her. Lord have mercy. What a joy. Uh, so we're going we're gonna to offer those prayers at this time. <clears throat> Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O Lord God Almighty, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who by your word has made every rational and irrational creature that brought all things out of nothingness into being, we pray to you and implore you, Cleanse this your servant, Catherine, whom by your will you have preserved and who now comes into your holy church from every transgression so that she may be accounted worthy to partake of your holy mysteries without condemnation. Bless also this child that has been born of her. Increase her and sanctify her. Give it her understanding and a prudent and virtuous mind for you alone have brought her into being and have shown her the light in which bodily sense perceives so that she might be accounted worthy also of the ideal light and be numbered with your holy flock through your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life-creating Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O God, the Father Almighty, who by the loud voice prophet Isaiah had foretold to us the incarnation from a virgin of your only begotten Son and our God, who in the latter days, by your good pleasure and by the cooperation of the Holy Spirit, have, have willed through measureless love to become a child of her for the salvation of men. And according to the custom of your holy law, after the fulfillment of the days of purification, submitted to be brought into the sanctuary, being himself a true lawgiver, and willed to be carried in the arms of the righteous Simeon, of which mystery we have a prototype declared in the aforementioned prophet by the taking of coals with tongs from the altar, and of which we the faithful also have an imitation of grace. Do you yourself, who are he that watches over babes, O Lord, bless this child together with its parents, sponsors and account it worthy to be at the fitting time to be born again of water and the spirit number it with your holy f flock of the rational sheep who are called by the name of your christ for you are he who dwells in high and gives regard to the things that are lowly and to you we send up glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit both now and forever and unto the ages of ages The servant of God, Elizabeth, is churched in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I will go into your holy house, worship in the, towards your holy temple in fear of you. The servant of God, Elizabeth, is churched in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the midst of the congregation, I will sing praise to you. The servant of God, Elizabeth, is churched in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now the prayer of St. Simeon, who held in his arms the Christ child. Master, now let your servant depart in peace according to your word, for my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared before the presence of all people, a light to enlighten the Gentiles and the glory of your people Israel. This is Elizabeth Gesquier. My goodness. Uh, we look forward to the day of her baptism. You can take her. There you go. The daughter of Justin and Catherine Gesquier. What a joy, what a joy.
and with love the Nani. Et the fovu theu peace theos ki agapis proselfete. Amin, 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 God is the Lord, and has revealed himself to us. Blessed is your cause, in the name of the Lord. Agni barthene desvina. Yeah. 
and greater than angelic thrones, rejoice, O unwedded bride, rejoice, O song of cherubim, rejoice, O hymn of angels, rejoice, O unwedded bride. So, son of Theos, the law and suke of loi, so ding glid on me and so God, save your people and bless your inheritance. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens, let your glory be over all the earth. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens, let your glory be over all the earth. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens, and let your glory be over all the earth. Always, now, and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Having partaken of the divine, holy, pure, immortal, heavenly life, creating an awesome message of Christ, it does worthy to give thanks to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. Having prayed for a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us commend ourselves and one another, and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. We give thanks to you, Master, love of your kind of and our soul. Even on this very day, we are going to be as well as you once again in your heaven and in your holy spirit. May spare our path, fortalize and prepare our life and secure our steps. Through the prayers of the peace of the glorious name of the Holy Spirit, never to marry and have all your sins. For you are sanctification, and you be glory. The Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Lord bless us and bless you, sanctify us with your trusting. Save your people and bless your parents. Protect the body of your church, sanctify the
Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. The choir of the saints has found the fountain of life and the door of paradise. May I also find the way through repentance. I am the sheep that is lost, O Savior. Call me back and save me. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Of all you created me from nothing, and you honored me with your divine image. Though when I disobeyed your commandment, you returned me to the earth from which I was taken. Lead me back again to your likeness, so that the ancient beauty may be refashioned. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your commandments. I am an image of your favored glory. Though I bear the scars of my transgressions, Take pity on me, reward of your hand. Master, and grant me my your compassion. Grant me the desire homeland, for which I belong, making me again a citizen of paradise. <laughs> Ανάπαυσον ο Θεός τους δούλου σου και κατάταξον αυτούς εν παραδείσο. Όπου χωρί των Αγίων Κύριε και οι δίκαιοι εκλάμψου συνός φωστήρες τους και κοιμημένους δούλου σου ανάπαυσον Παρορών αυτών πάντα τα εγκλήματα. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us devoutly praise the threefold radiance of the one God as we sing. Holy are you, the Father without beginning, the co-eternal Son and the Divine Spirit. Illumine us who worship you in faith and deliver us from the eternal fire. For now and forever and to the ages of ages, amen. Rejoice, gracious lady, who gave birth to God in the flesh for the salvation of all, and through whom the human race has found salvation. Through you, pure and blessed Theotokos, may we find paradise. Alleluia, 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 doxa sio Theo. Alleluia, 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 doxa sio Theo. Alleluia, 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 doxa sio Theo. Meta to naion anapason triste tas psihason du lo. Πνευμάτων δικαίων τετελειωμένων, τα ψυχά των δούλων σου σώτερων άπαυσων, 
Φιλάτων αυτά στη τη μακαρία ζωή, τη πάραση φιλάνθρωπε. Δόξα πατρί και ιό και αγίο πνεύματι, Σύ ο Θεό ημώνω κατά βάση άδειν και τα σωδίνα λύσα των πεπεδημένων. Αυτό και τα ψυχά των δούλων σου σώτερα να παυσών. Both now and then ever into the ages of ages, amen. You, the only pure and spotless virgin, who ineffably gave birth to God, intercede for mercy and forgiveness of the soul of your servants. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray to you, hear us, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the repose of the souls of the departed servants of God, Betty, Angelos, Maria, and Michael, and the servants, Panayotas, Unufrios, Nikos, Constantino, Agapi, Sorgio, Anastasias, Liani, Antonio, Nicolao, Yorgio, Tassos, Nicolaos, and for the forgiveness of their every transgression, both voluntary and involuntary. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. May the Lord God grant their souls rest where the righteous repose for the mercies of God, the kingdom of heaven, and the forgiveness of their sins. Let us ask from Christ, our immortal King and God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O God of spirits and of all flesh, you have trampled upon death and have abolished the power of the devil, and you have given life to your world. Grant rest to the souls of your departed servants. Betty, Angelos, Maria and Michael, and your servants, Panayotos, Onufrios, Nikos, Constantinos, Agapis, Yorgos, Anastasia, Saliani, Andoniu, Nicolaos, Yorgos, Tassos, and Nikos, and place them, O Lord, in a place of life, Amen. in a place of repose, Amen. in a place of refreshment, Amen. where there is no pain, sorrow, or suffering. As a good and loving God, forgive every sin that they have committed in deed and word or in thought for there is no one who lives and does not sin you alone are without sin you your righteousness is an everlasting righteousness and your word is truth <laughs> Συντονάκου σου πατρί και τα Παναγίο και αγαθό και ζωπιό σου πνεύματι, νυν και αή και ει του αιώνα των αιώνων. Amen. May your memory be eternal, dear brethren, worthy of blessedness and everlasting memory. Αιωνία σε ζημίμια και μακάρι και αίνη στη δεθήμων. May your memory be eternal, dear brethren, worthy of blessedness and everlasting memory. Αιωνία ημνή. Blessing of the Lord and His mercy come upon you through His divine grace and love, always, now, and forever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to your God, glory to you. May He who rose from the dead, Christ our true God, 
through the intercession of his all blameless and all immaculate Holy Mother, the fourth feast of whose dormition we commemorate today mm -hmm. by the power of the precious and life-giving cross, protection, the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supplication, the honorable glorious prophet and forerunner John the Baptist, the holy glorious and praiseworthy apostle, the holy glorious triumphant martyrs of our righteous and God-bearing fathers, of the father among the saints, John Christus, the archbishop of Constantinople, whose liturgy we celebrate, of the holy righteous ancestors of God at Joachim and Anna, of the holy prophet Micah, whose memory we commemorate today, and of all the saints. May he have mercy on us and save us, for he is a good and merciful God who loves mankind. Lord, protect for many years the one who blesses and sanctifies us. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen. May the Holy Trinity bless, protect, and keep all of you. Please be seated. Good morning. So lovely with you. I, uh, on behalf of uh, all of the families present, we thank you for all the prayers uh, that were offered today. We are um, going to have a, a, a wonderful coffee hour today and fellowship in which we can uh, honor them by uh, our joy together. I want to also uh, just highlight a mistake, uh, an omission, uh, something that is not in the bulletin. What is not in the bulletin, and I'm glad that we're all Orthodox because somebody already asked me, uh, Father, is there Vespers tonight? Yes, of course there's Vespers tonight. Tomorrow is the, is the Feast of, uh, of Dormition of the Theotokos, Chemesis. There is Vespers tonight. There's going to be Vespers every 14th in the evening. I'm just the idiot that forgot to put it in the bulletin. So forgive me. <laughs> it's just one of those things where you do it so often, you just, you just kind of assume everyone knows. But forgive me, it's not in the bulletin. 6 p.m. this evening, there will be Vespers with the Angomia Tispanayas. We're going to have the uh, Epitaphio Tispanayas. It'll be right out here. We'll process it around. It's a, it's a beautiful service if you are able to come Sunday going into Monday. This is the first of three liturgies in a row. That as long as I am here, we will be having, well, two liturgies in a row, technically. If, it, if, if uh, the 14th ends up on a Sunday, then the next day there's liturgy for Chemesis. The day after that, there is liturgy for St. Joseph the Hezekist. Who is St. Joseph the Hezekist? Some of you have heard of Father Ephraim, Yeron de Ephraim, from Arizona that passed away a few years ago. Um, he would, he's actually come, I believe, to Canton, even to this parish at one point in time, I think during the 80s, maybe the 90s. He, he was a, a, a really wise and amazing man. St. Joseph is his, was his spiritual father, okay? And, this is, uh, and we actually have relics of St. Joseph the Hezekist here, and on his feast day, the day after Chemesis, um, they will be brought out for veneration. So you are, you are able to not only be uh, blessed uh, uh, on that day, the, on the 16th, with coming to liturgy and hearing about St. Joseph a little bit, but also you'll be blessed with uh, uh, the relics, actually relics of St. Joseph the Hezekist. It was a, a, a wonderful blessing, an unexpected one given to me by my brother in Christ, Father John Vlachos. Uh, he just showed up at my house one time and said, Father, look, <laughs> and he handed me these, these relics. It was unbelievable. So very... Um, very unexpected blessing that we have those relics here. Uh, so the, those will be brought out. There's a few things to announce. Most of it is in the bulletin. Uh, just if you see things that are coming up, Orthodoxy 101 class, uh, there's some beautiful opportunities for education about Orthodoxy coming. Okay? Even if you are Orthodox and we're afraid to ask questions about Orthodoxy, this is a beautiful way. Wednesdays in September and October, we're going to do an eight-week Orthodoxy 101 class right after Paraclesis in the evening, 7 o'clock in the evening, directly after Paraclesis, Orthodoxy 101. We already have some people signed up for it from the festival uh, that, that were interested uh, in learning more about it. This is the beautiful thing about doing our festival. I'm just going to not make more of an announcement than that. 
Um, and also, uh, it, it, it's been said in the bulletin about October 13th, there's going to be a Korayis dinner theater. But we now have a little bit more of uh, an understanding of what that evening is going to be. That's a Thursday night, I believe. Yeah, Thursday night, 13th of October. There's going to be tickets on sale today. It's going to be a, a musical review in some, ki- in, in, in some ways. And it's going to be featuring live music uh, from our own Melanie John and in the, in the, in the ones that kind of are around her. So it's going to be a wonderful evening. Cordais is sponsoring it. Please, uh, please make sure that you are in attendance. Uh, they're offering, uh, you know, package deals for different things like this. Not necessarily discounts, but, uh, you know, if you want a whole table of people, they're offering that as well. So make sure that you are aware uh, that, uh, that this is happening and that tics, tickets will be on sale. Did I miss anything? I missed something. Oh my goodness, that's incredible. So, what a joy. Yeah, glory to God. What, what an unexpected gift. But thank you the, to the Cretan Club. And, and, Ellen, and Ellen is uh, the director of the fine arts, so she's the... Was that... Yeah, sure, sure, because there's a little bit, I think a little bit of lighting that m- might be coming up here as well. That's a, that's an, a, a wonderful and, and beautiful gift. Thank you. Thank you very much. That, that was uh, very kind. Um, unexpected, uh, unexpected gifts like that are always a welcome. And uh, thank you for remembering uh, how wonderful it is to keep this place beautiful. To keep this sanctuary beautiful. That, that is a good thing. We say that in our liturgy. Blessed are those uh, who remember the beauty of your house. That's one of the things that we pray in our divine liturgy. So, if there's nothing else to announce, please rise. We'll bless the food. <clears throat> All together. Glory to the Father, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Mercy, Lord, and mercy. Christ our God, we ask that you bless the food and the drink of your servants, bless the hands that have provided for it, those that have labored to prepare it, and all of us that will partake of it, and also remember your servants, Betty, Angelo, uh, Michael, and Maria, for whom it was offered, and uh, continue to keep them in your rest, for your holy now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Come forward to receive your blessing.
majestic maiden, queen of all, O oh, most holy mother, rejoice, O oh, unwedded bride. Doris omnivacilis, smitiri pera gia, gera nymphia nymphia vdam. More honorable than cherubim, Compare more glorious, rejoice, O unwedded bride. Rejoice, O song of cherubim, rejoice, O hymn of angels. Rejoice, O unwedded bride. Eretos maheruvim, Ereim nos angelon, Erenim fianim fevdel. Rejoice, O Lord of seraphim, The joy of the archangels. Rejoice, O unwedded bride. Rejoice, O oh peace and happiness, the harbor of salvation. Rejoice, O oh unwedded bride. Rejoice, delightful paradise of blessed life eternal. Rejoice on what did bride. <laughs>